So my name is Jared Harris. Uh, I graduated in 1996. I currently am a vice president at HDR Engineering, went to school at Montana State University in Bozeman and graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. My name is Mallory Harris. I graduated in 2003 and I am a stay-at-home mom. I graduated um, from MSU Billings with a degree in elementary education. Uh, my name is Cody Dutton and I graduated at Billings Central in 2010 and I went to Seattle Pacific University. Currently I just moved back to Billings and I'm a financial advisor. So when I hear the phrase teachers change lives, I think about um, back when I was a kid, I had a teacher a number of different years, second, fourth, sixth, and um, throughout my elementary. She was really into science. And um, I look at where I became and where I started and just her hands-on activities and labs, her, the way she dealt with students and the way she always showed a caring um, personality. I think I was always destined to become um, something in science, um, some sort of scientific field. Just She always had labs. She was always passionate about what she was teaching. She always spent time with the students to make sure they got it. And when I look back at the, the way I grew up, there was just no other choice but to go into science because of the passion that she put in me towards science. And I think that if I look at ending up in engineering, it was a given. We always joke that if I didn't make it through high school or college, it was on her for how much time she spent teaching me the sciences and how, how, much, how pas passionate I was and inspired I was by her teaching. When I hear teachers change lives, I instantly go to um, my religion classes. I um, was very blessed to have a lot of great religion teachers, and I think um, a lot of that is due to um, the way they inspired me to continue to live my faith, and as well as all the activities that um, the Catholic schools offer, um, community service, um, opportunities, the search. Um, when we were younger, we did the homilies during masses, and all of those things really inspired me to continue to live my faith. Thinking back on my time at Central, a particular teacher comes to mind, and this was the spring of my senior year. I had recently decided where to go to college after procrastinating on that for as long as I could, and I was having a lot of anxiety and questions and fear and stress, whatever you want to call it, and thinking about all the possibilities. And I remember relaying this to the teacher at the time, and he said something that I'll never forget. He said, Cody, you can do anything that doesn't require you to be 6'5", 280. And I'm obviously not 6'5", 280. And looking back, as, as well as the original uh, instance that it happened, I think thinking about it in retrospect now throughout my time at college, throughout uh, my working career so far, I think that there's been many times where barriers have been seemingly put up or people have said that I can't do something or that it would be a waste of time or that it's not worth it. And really understanding that, um, you know, those limitations are only placed upon me by myself uh, and that I can do anything uh, that doesn't require me to be, you know, 6'5", 280. I think the teachers at Billing Central and the Catholic schools continue to change my life as I see them around. I mean, I look at um, two of the teachers that immediately come to mind that are impactful in my high school. Um, helped inspire my faith and then also gave me the courage to public speak and um, I still see those teachers today and when I see them there's always that encouragement and that positivity that they originally gave me back in high school and continue to give me today in fact one of those teachers still plays in a band with me at church every once in a while and it's just a reminder that living out our faith that the inspiration of our faith continues on today and then just the ability and the confidence to see those people in, in society and they ask how you're doing and they always are caring about the past that they've taught you, the education that they've given you and that you're still living it out today. They, they impact my life every day, still going on today and I think they will for the rest of my life. I would say um, the teachers still impact me today, just things that um, I am still very involved in my faith and um, have had many opportunities to continue to live live out my faith um, and a lot of that is being involved in the school um, having three kids going through the Catholic schools and giving them the opportunity to um, to be a part of that as well so I just think that today I'm still being impacted by being able to to share that with my kids looking back and uh, being grateful for the fact that I received that wisdom and was able to 
uh, not only hear it, but really listen to it and uh, include it in my life. And, um, you know, for that, I will, um, I'll always remember that and I'll always be thankful for that teacher. If I had to build a monument um, about teachers today, I think my monument would be a, a statue of a teacher um, working on something. You know, it could be anything, um, whatever the field that they're, that we're, 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 in my mind, it comes, first thing it comes is science or an experiment. But the difference is it wouldn't just be the teacher reaching into that experiment. It would be all of the kids hands-on working on it today and everybody would have a smile on their face. And you could see the teacher caring about the students that they were working with. You could see the teacher looking at the students with that passion in their eyes to make sure that they were involved in it and that they weren't getting left behind and that they were helping inspire them today. And it would say something on the monument like, um, be present in what you're doing. Um, just every teacher I, I remember that was impactful in my life was always present in the classroom and they were always present in the kids' lives both in and out of the school at the Billings Catholic Schools. If I built a monument, um, I would probably have something like um, almost like Jesus with the little children and having a teacher standing there with a book and children around. Um, and I think this would um, just be very appropriate for, for the Catholic schools because I think um, the teachers do a great job of just really making kids feel um, welcome and very, very loved. And I think it would say something like, walk the walk. I think our teachers do a great job of um, truly walking the walk, talking the talk. They, they live out their faith. And so um, I think this would be a great monument to represent our school. If I could create a monument for teachers all over, I think that monument wouldn't be about the X's and O's. It wouldn't be about the dates we learned or the equations that we had to learn, the proofs that we did, uh, it would be about the belief that we can do anything and we can pursue whatever we want. It doesn't mean it's not going to be hard, it doesn't mean there isn't going to be work involved, but that at the end of the day, uh, if you believe and you're willing uh, to put yourself out there that um, anything is possible as long as uh, you believe and strive. You know, I think the one thing I would like to say is thanks to all the teachers at Billings Catholic Schools. I mean, everything you guys do has been um, influential in so many of our lives, as well as so many of our kids' lives. I, I don't know that we can say thanks enough. You guys have made us what we are today. Um, I always think back to you. at one point when I was in college, the student body president of all of the universities, I think four of the universities, not all of them, but four of the universities were Billings Central Catholic School graduates. And I look around the city and I look around at what my class is doing, and I look around what the classes that have gone through this system have done. And you guys have impacted so many lives, and so much of the history of this city is going to be dictated by what you guys have passed on to students. So thank you so much for all you do.